that says, donating to see the Archimund destroyed. Love from Austria. I have $50 from the Burninator91 that says, first time to donate during GDQ. Hope you've enjoyed playing Unveiled as much as I have watching. Let's beat Cancer. Good luck, Void, and roll deep. And speaking of Void, I hope you're all ready for a legend in the DKC speedrunning community. We're going to hand it right off to Void for the Donkey Kong Country 2 Unveiled speedrun. Take it away. <laughs> Yo, rolling in. What's up, everyone? Uh, hello boy. there. Hello, hello there. Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, this is gonna be Donkey Kong Country 2 Unveiled, and what this is is basically a fairly difficult Donkey Kong Country 2 ROM hack made by Emptysys, who I have in the voice call with me right now. Hey, what's poppin', gamers? Yeah, and joining me as well, uh, we have Blueberry26. Uh, hello and welcome. And Seuss. Hi. And they both run this game at a high level, and yeah. Uh, I don't know how much I'll be talking this run, because this game's really hard, uh, but I'm sure these guys will be able to hold it down. So, with that being said, I'm gonna give you guys a countdown in three, two, one, Smurf. All right, good Wait, luck. is this a ROM hack or? Uh, all right, so this is 1-1, one, one. Um, very basic uh, running. Uh, when people start playing this, it's like, oh, you know, this is just a really cool, uh, another like variation of the donkey game, and not realizing how much harder it gets. Mm, but this, this game is really is easy so far, yeah. Uh, I don't know where the issue is, to be honest. <laughs> I would say contrary to the popular opinion, this game actually has difficult platforming. <laughs> mm, that's a hot take, dude. I don't know. I don't know if I can support that opinion. <laughs> yeah, the challenge starts with this level, actually. Yeah, it already... So this is like a bit of a rite of passage. So you only start this stage with uh, Solo Kong, whatever you do. You enter the Kong always the opposite from the one on the overworld. So you try to enter this with Dixie, you get Diddy instead, and vice versa. And this is like one of the shortest stages in the game, but it's really, really difficult. Uh, the coins are actually traps in this stage, and you gotta avoid them at all costs. Except for that one, but he still did, so that's... Yeah, cool. good. Good measures. <laughs> Alright, we have Flitter Flight next. <clears throat> this is just really uh, all about Quarks, the parrot, and uh, you gotta utilize it in a like speedy way, so you gotta really like optimize rolls and uh, roll into the bird to get all the momentum that you want. Uh, really carries over and uh, this by the way is also a solo Diddy stage so whatever you do you cannot enter the stage with uh, any other Kong but I promise there's gonna be stages where uh, both Rambi. Kongs are allowed no <laughs> Rambi is cool come on no all right cool cool great Nice run, Void. Really, really good job. A plus, dude. We already murdered an innocent rhino, dude. Well, it's by design, so. Hey, you could have. Okay, okay. You could have <laughs> still Rambi double jumped over that gap, so I think that statement is not true, all right? <laughs> That's for yeah, another okay. uh, category, though. <laughs> Okay, so that Rambi was basically a Yoshi. This one's a really basic water level, but it's really, really, really fast, and this is really satisfying movement here. Yeah, uh, this one is uh, one of my favorites, just because of the rolls and the momentum that you can get from them. Yeah, over here you can uh, see yeah, like so one this, of the shortcuts. For this stage though, um, you can pick up Dixie now. Uh, he's just doing Diddy because it's a little faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this stage is like one of the easiest stages in the run, but the strats you can go for are actually pretty risky if you go for a solo DD. Yeah, so the upcoming stage is going to be the first real techie thing. Uh, you're going to be amazed by it if it all works out, so I'm going to let Zeus take over on that because it's a bit more to explain. 
Yeah, the next one is gonna be Riptide Rise 1 5. And we are about to get it in soon enough. No, Riptide Rise is this level. The next <laughs> level is uh, Ruthless yeah, Ropes. Ropes. Yeah, Ruthless Ropes. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> I, we are I gonna swear skip. We ruined this game. <laughs> yeah. But we are gonna skip a major part of this level. And how it's gonna work is that Void is gonna do a trick called the Big Boy. And how that works is he does a. Uh, throw his cone partner to an enemy and that lets him get a higher jump than normal and there is going to be another one here at the midway and that team throw is going to give him super jump and able to get the midway faster and that skips like yeah. pretty much the entire half of the stage yeah that was i mean the halfway is really close to the end anyway so yeah that's the end of the stage already and uh, next up is uh kane is infinite uh so if you if you didn't like crow, you're gonna hate this even more. Uh, yeah. We're we're adding. Predict kids. how many fakes uh, we're gonna get, by the way. Just yeah. Run. Predict predict the fakes in chat. How many fakes we're gonna get right now? Because uh, everyone knows this bird has RNG, and the last yeah. two eggs can either be fake or real. So let's see. Yeah. I'm gonna vote for two. <coughs> Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna say so one. So I think one is one is still gonna be in. Yo, fake. Yo, what? Oh, Fakeless? Fakeless? Oh, let's go. Fakeless? Uh, Fakeless on a marathon? Are you kidding? Yeah. Well, this never happened before, so <laughs> congrats. Uh, the RNG is fixed on this fight, so you always no! get Fakeless. No! <laughs> <laughs> you ruined but we, but the we illusion! We for that. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't leave the RNG in the game. Uh, <laughs> that would be kind of cool. Yeah, there's um, very little RNG. Yeah, this is uh, Void's favorite stage in the whole run. Um, <laughs> this is Rampy Rampage. And the thing is, uh, you always have to platform with Rampy pretty much here. That's all, that's what this whole stage is about. And uh, we're introducing a new enemy type, which is the uh, uh, Blue Zinger, uh, also called the Balloon, because it essentially acts as a balloon, pretty much. You just uh, have a temporary pl platform. The only difference being uh, is that in this one you can actually slide off of the balloon and you can't steer it unless you're like what he did charge on it or maybe crouch and so it's uh, slightly more diff difficult a little bit of a risky ending but i got it uh, oh this so one's this a big stage, one um, yeah, go ahead. he's gonna skip the first half by big boying up to the top left and uh, then mm. he's gonna line up a 2-1 jump um, to take damage off this B, super jump into the barrel, and it's gonna skip the entire first half. And also we get a DK coin. That is blue, by the way. White coin. Mm -hmm. But this stage, uh, the gimmick is you're supposed to escort this cannonball um, all the way to the cannon, which will warp you to the next uh, segment. Um, so he's gonna do that for the second half here. Uh, there's still some parts like that cannonball, and uh, he's gonna skip, so you can just team throw right up into the barrel. Um, what and barrel? you can there also you throw the cannonball uh, <laughs> straight up and just kind of team throw to the next platform. So this stage is really cool on a speedrun. Imaginary barrels? I yeah. just airballed over it. <laughs> yeah, just like team throw into the barrel, boy. I don't, I don't see the problem. <laughs> like just there you have it. That's two two. Oh yeah, golden cannon intended by. No the way. one saw that Burn. golden cannon. It, it wasn't there. I love to see it. I love to see it. Uh, yes. Our cup coming is 2-3, so 1-3 we had uh, mandatory solo Diddy, 2-3 uh, we have mandatory solo Dixie, and yeah. this is all around uh, Dixie's hovering and... And this level is really corners. hard, so... Yeah, this, this is like one... the first big reset point yeah, of... Yeah, uh, definitely. Unveiled. Ooh. Oh, that always... Oh, that always... That always looks really, really, really hard. <laughs> yeah. I figured I might as well time, go for it for the fans, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the first real big reset point because uh, a lot of really tight movement and stuff and you also are solo Kong and Dixie is generally usually considered the worst Kong of them, at least in the speedrun scenario. But I thought she was underutilized and so I wanted to make a Dixie only stage. Uh, we can probably fit in a couple donations until the end of the stage here. Yeah, absolutely. Sure thing. I have $50 from Zeta Gundam ZZ that says, everyone, Let's help Covert Muffin force Arkhamun to take a bath. Let's get a train going to make it happen, y'all. And good luck on your run, Void. I also have $20 from Shagalicious that says, rolling in to donate during the unveiled run. Good luck and Void W. Void W. 
Boy W. Boy W. Jade donates a thousand dollars and says, "Hey Void, had to donate during your run. Best of luck. Love watching you stream. Let's all fight to end cancer." Big wow. Pay. Thanks for the one thousand. Big yeah, money. Really nice, generous donation. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, this one's kind of all over the place. I don't even know why I made this stage. But, uh. <laughs> this one is a little bit of a breather compared to 2 3, so. Did you slip or was that intended? No, I slipped. I, uh, okay, I didn't okay. make it on the ledge. <laughs> that was yeah, your that chance was to cover tides. it up with a cool saying. Yeah, or whatever. Um, <laughs> intended. But the stage I guess. also yeah. has, again, Void's favorite animal body in the game. Yeah. yeah. And it it actually features a really cool speed strat where you can use Rampy's charge to skip a section pretty much yeah, yeah. by bouncing on some bees. This one's uh, really, really neat. It's super fast. Don't blink, haha. Rampy is too good of an animal, buddy. We all know that. Alright, cool. There you go. Skill intensive stage, just like that. Nice. Really nice. Yeah, look at that, dude. Excellent gameplay right here. Perfection. And if you didn't, if you didn't get enough of Rambi, uh, here He's we back. go again. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, go yeah. Again. we we don't ever want to like not have Rambi in this, right? So let's just bring back Rambi for a second. And he's yeah. gone. Oh man, come on, no. dude. Four second Rambi section. Well, <laughs> I loved every second of it. So, <laughs> so this is like a reverse uh, PCP. Um, you're actually platforming upwards, and it's actually really sick. There's a lot of uh, little tech you can do, like the Rally double jump and just quickly just going into the barrels. Yeah, I like how like all the cycles line up perfectly on this. Yeah. Yeah, when you play the, this uh, the second half quickly, like everything just lines up. Kind of sick. Like, don't have to yeah, wait for that for example. So yeah. Uh... Squawks over here. In this game, Squawks is red, and we used to call him Squeaks. And you'll see... Uh, you won't see why, actually, because we skipped <laughs> that stage. No, yeah. not <laughs> in any percent. Um, but yeah, there's like a sound glitch, pretty much, uh, in one of the stages that make his uh, sounds go really, really high pitch. And uh, I thought it was really cute, so I kept it in, and it's uh, now considered Squeaks. So Cleaver, this is the first uh, indication of unveiled with RNG. So how the cannonball drops and where it drops um, is RNG, is not fixed. Yeah. Um, but and otherwise, it... it's basically the same fight, other than the fact that you got bees in the center and two little guardian kaboings. That yeah, was that you super cannot good damage RNG. with those cannonballs, by the way, so you got to be extra right. careful while dealing with them. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. why That's why I said that. That was really, really good RNG. Okay, yeah, this is a uh, lava fly. It still works the same way, but we got a D boost this time, and we just skip an entire phase pretty much. We got to load him up quickly, so he steps. And boy, does gonna yeah, yeah, if do. If you're familiar some... with the lava fly and uh, the vanilla version, it's basically the same idea, where you have to bait the sword first, because if you don't, you hit him earlier. The cooks actually do not spawn. Ooh, the Kaizo strat. Yeah, Void is uh, gaming big time right now. Yeah, that was really clean. Really, really good. Yeah, that was really clean. That was really clean. Yeah, that was really clean. Good stuff. <laughs> hey, that was really clean, guys. <laughs> I think it was really clean, boy. Uh, excuse right, me, guys. Uh... Uh, got a message rolling in here. I can confirm it was really clean. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so I hope you like blue because this stage is, this world is very blue. Why yeah. is the world blue? So we have Copper one, over here, uh, but Copper in this level, interestingly enough, is used as an obstacle. So you want to avoid bouncing on him at all costs, because if you do, you're pretty much dead. You're going to get bounced into the pit. He is so cute, though. You need to pet the clapper. Pet the clapper, huh? Pet the clapper! Nah, you gotta, you gotta avoid these guys pretty much. They bounce you into pits. And if you ask yourself what the purple crocs do, they are completely invulnerable. You can't damage them by all means. No DNT, no rolling through them, no jumping on them or anything like that. So you gotta avo avoid them at all costs. Uh, I didn't even see that golden crocodile over there. Completely nope. uh, missed it. Um, yeah, developers of games always love to see color glitches and stuff. So, there you go. Also in the vanilla speed run, Dixie doesn't get that much use with like platforming stuff. But in this, at least in this world, like 
Dixie levels yeah, are really cool. Yeah, she's used quite a bit in this world. Like Dixie platforming is really looks really cool. Yeah, and it's and it's not just that she's like faster or something. It's it's she's like vital for it. Like in casual like gameplay, you will almost always lose the game in three one and three three if you're not Dixie. It's really really difficult with Diddy. Um, this one's called Caesar's Chase, and uh, it's just a chase against a snap gel that's following you the whole time. And you got these invo barrels to make it through in time, and you got to dash from invo barrel to invo barrel. Now these animal barrels here are just obstacles because they keep you stuck in there for quite a bit. Uh, I don't think you have time for the thing. Though. Yeah. Ah, that was close. Okay. I appreciate the thought though that you still went for it. Yeah. Oh dang. Okay. I thought I could still make it under the log jaw there. Yeah. I mean. I knew it was gonna be tight now that you took a hit already, but yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Oh. Uh, well. <laughs> DLC. DLC, just get the, yep. Just DLC. get the DK coin. Easy. Like, no problem. So, what uh, I Void the DK is... DK coin in a while. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's okay. So what Void was uh, attempting there was like the so-called any percent skip. So you just show off the DK coin content instead and... Uh, it's uh, really nice to see these things in a marathon, pretty much. Alright, we're gonna go to... Alright, now I'm gonna dodge the guy this time. Yeah. I mean, as long as you're two Kongs here, you can probably just de-boost them anyway. Yeah. Yeah, easy. Yeah. And now this action can be really tricky to figure stuff. out on your first playthrough. Oh yeah, that's really... Oh! Awesome. I did not Ooh. think he was gonna see me there. I did not think he was gonna see me. That's really unfortunate. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, this game's hard. Game's hard? Yeah. It's just hard swimming, to be fair. It's no hard platforming or anything, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Nice oh, yeah. dodge. That was crazy cool, I know, right? I was like, what the... <laughs> one went up, one went down. That was super yeah. good. <laughs> Alright, finally. Okay, that last lockjaw is really weird. Okay, so this next section... Uh, this next stage coming up is actually like uh, really, really, really difficult with uh, Diddy and slightly easier with Dixie, but still pretty difficult. Um, and it's an infamous run killer too. Uh, so on this one, you basically just have all these croquettes in the swamp and they're all the same color, but they all do different things. On top of that, there's banana lines baiting you into thinking they do different things. So uh, yeah, good luck. There's also really a built-in shortcut here. Oh yeah, death barrel right there. Death barrel right there. Yeah, <laughs> so you know how there's like these warp barrels in the vanilla game? Basically, this is my take on them uh, without having to skip the whole stage. Uh, and uh, yeah, it uh, launches you through half the stage. It's like risk reward too, because you skip the DK barrel and the midway, which is pretty harsh. But in speedruns, it's just faster, so we do it. I like how most yeah, you, of the shortcut barrels are like that. Yeah, yeah, usually all the barrels that empty put in have some kind of a drawback. You miss a uh, midway really cool. or miss a con. So again, we're uh, our one loving Rambi friend, but mm -hmm. we're gonna supercharge the entire way um, by lining up this B and using it as a trampoline at the very end. Yeah. Yeah, so this yeah. level has three ways of playing it. One with each animal buddy, and playing it with Randy is actually the fastest way. Yeah, and this is important to note because this is like an important moment in history, actually, because uh, you can see Void even had a choice to pick other animal buddies, but he just straight up <laughs> went for Randy instead. Dude, so he's I, actually I, I, admitting... I gotta, go, I gotta go fast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what you're saying mm -hmm. is Randy's the best animal buddy? Uh, uh, yeah, no comments. <laughs> I mean... I have it on tape, so we have um, evidence. So, uh, this is like arguably the best level in World 3. Um, super good platforming. You don't get much ice platforming. You had Black Ice Battle, but that was just like, again, like a PCP-esque, like going straight down. Whereas this is like actual ice platforming. So I think that's also what makes it like really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, this is... Rip skip there. This is really, yeah, really go good. For it. The second half here is just beautiful. You get this like hidden invincibility barrel that you find, and now you can just like roll through pretty much everything, even like the zingers there. 
and uh, it's just super clean movement. Yeah, it's just it's so satisfying the movement. Yeah. Uh, so coming up, uh, flying climb. There's going to be one uh, pretty big sequence break. Um, so he's going to try and keep both Kongs um, all the way for the entire first half for a deep boost strat. So. Yeah, this, actually, this level is actually pretty heavy on the sequence breaks. So right yeah. here, um, normally there is an involve barrel. Uh, you go left and you get the hidden DK coin, but you can just damage boost and have just enough time to get right into the barrel. Yeah, there's um, gonna the be another one just, here uh, where he throws. Storm he throws does a team though. throw. Now you break my stages, baby rage. Boy, please, why do you do this to me? Yes, for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, I guess I did. All right, next up is Kajo. TLDR, it has spikes everywhere. Uh, blank hitbox is bad, and that's why I'm saying I think you can uh, probably read out some donations now. This is mm, basically an yeah. auto scroller. Oh, yeah, we have tons. I have $5 from Wraith that says, five more dollars for the train. Let's get those incentives met. And as an update for that uh, killing, killing Archimund incentive, we're at about a little over 11,000 for that 50,000 incentive goal. So we have a little ways to go, but we can absolutely do it. I know we can. I have $100 from Anonymous that says, rolling in to donate during the void run. This is definitely void nice run. Question for the couch. Why is everything blue? <laughs> oh, no. You want to answer that, MT? Uh, I go, um, I go, I, I'll say more about that later on. <laughs> you can just keep going. Alrighty. Uh, I have $30 from Glenn that says, good luck, Void, on beating this definitely not Kaizo game. I love Unveiled. I remember playing this game for hours when it came out in 1995. <laughs> God damn Thanks, it. Thanks, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> really helps the stream out. I have $50 right. from Dario Vic that says, I, D I see DKC2 and I'm suddenly 16 years old again. The memories less than three. You can go for one more probably. Yep. Alrighty. Myriad donates $50 and says, DKC2 is my favorite game in existence. A pleasure to see what people have done to expand it. Best of luck on the run, Void. Yeah, so why is everything blue in this game, Void? Do, do you know? Uh, I don't know, but this level is pretty yellow to me. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, so this so... is Sticky Situations. Uh, this is one of your favorites, Blue, right? Uh, this is one of my favorites, yeah. Really? Well... So, four, I mean... World 4 is a really big difficulty curve, so you thought the game was hard before. Uh, welcome to World 4. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this is really cool. It's really fun, but a lot of the levels are quite long, especially a very uh, infamous level coming up. Um, but this is just a lot tighter platforming, a lot of cool uh, little tricks you can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just really difficult. Like, pretty much Rough the whole world is pretty difficult. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you die in World well, 4, that usually means a reset. Gets waste yeah. a lot of time, like when you are actually grinding for attempts. Yeah. You guys remember PCP, that stage in Vanilla where you had to drop down the whole stage? This is basically a mini version of it where you just like memorize where the bees were and stuff, and then you just drop down. Um, this next stage is really cool. Um, it's like all about um, dismounting and remounting the cart. Um, it's like a semi auto scroller, pretty much. But yeah, it's really fun to watch. But you can go ahead and read a lot of donations over here. A lot of donations. Okay, got it. <laughs> $25 from Felix TC that says, Hey man, so excited to see Void running DKC2 unveiled at GDQ. Rolling in deep with the donations. We gonna get food after? Loving the yeah, event you so far. <laughs> you guys wanna go eat some? Loving the event so far. Go. So excited to watch the King of Fwahaha covert muffin today too in WC3. I have $500 from 
Sheezy McDeezy that says, rolling in. Void making this incredibly difficult game look so easy has me glued to my seat a, a, a game. Also shout out to the commentators doing a great job. Thanks to everyone involved for such a fantastic event and quick PSA, see if the company you work for will match your donation. Oftentimes they do. Here's to an awesome last two days in the marathon. $100 from Kiwi says, my mother recently had a cancer scare back in December. Now more than ever, I'm aware of my family's health and how important this work is. Thank you everything. Thank you for everything, truly. I love you all and hope the very best for each of you. Thank you. I, I have one more. Okay, great. I have $25 from the Black Knight that says, Hey Void, Black Knight rolling in. Good luck during the run and thanks to PCF for saving lives out there. My grandpa died to cancer and many lives can be saved with the constant advances in medical science. So let's speed it up. Thanks to all GDQ staff that make this wonderful event happen. Keep on doing good and let's see all a Void Cold One in chat. P.S. Have Thank some poutine for me, okay? Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, I think right, some so, of that too. So this level is pretty much MT's magnum opus, in my opinion. <laughs> this level's yeah. a masterpiece. Ooh. Talk about that masterpiece too soon. Yeah. So, That's okay. Uh, the contended strats. So this level's yeah. called Bramble Antics, and this is uh, driven by the idea of animal antics in the vanilla, where you're using all five animal buddies. Uh, there is only four animal buddies, but the every time you get rid of an animal buddy, um, he drops a TNT barrel, which you can use to uh, destroy the yellow bee path to get to the target. Um, and but when you die and you respawn back, the bees will also respawn as well. So you would have to do all four animal buddy sections in one shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and it's like a it's like a rendition of uh, Anima Antics in the vanilla game, pretty much. Uh, just a different take on it, pretty much. Um, this uh, this stage is notoriously difficult, probably one of the most difficult in the game. And they say this is like the rite of passage of the hack. So if you can beat this stage, you can probably just you beat can beat the hack. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I, I definitely agree. <clears throat> it is ridiculously so. fun to IL too. Yeah, it's it's just it's fun, but it's really difficult. And I think most of the difficulty doesn't necessarily come from just the sections. Uh, it comes from like the length of the stage and the consistency you have to have with it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, death great. late in this level can cost me minutes just because you have to do all four sections at once. Yeah. For reference, that death that we just had was like one of the fastest ones still. Like. Yeah. Uh, that was just one animal body in. Like, there you go. One animal body get, cool cat. And uh, we're onto Squawks, aka Squeaks now. And this one's really, really cool, but really monka, to be honest, because it's like, you gotta cut corners really tightly here. And uh, if I recall correctly, Void does some Kaiser strats over here. <laughs> so, I don't know. There's a safety in the in bow barrel that, all, that I always like to take because I'm, I'm bad. But, um. <laughs> Yeah, no need for that here. <laughs> Ooh, nice uh, barrel that got as well. The halfway barrel doesn't really help too much, um, as in since the bees just respawn. However, uh, when you start the, the level, you automatically always have to do uh, Rambi first, whereas the halfway barrel, you can choose what kind of order you want to like practice whatever individual section you need to work on to get to that obviously deathless run to finish the level. Yeah, and especially on the first like playthrough you're gonna do, the midway barrel actually helps a lot because you can practice the individual sections, otherwise you would just have to like grind Rambi over and over again to be able to practice the other sections. Okay. Oh, take care, dude. Oh. Um, so while he finishes this and the rally, be another good time for donations. Totally. I have $5 from Max that says, let's get that WC3 incentive and make Covert Muffin laugh. Good luck on the run, Void. And yeah, I believe we are a little over 11,000 of that 50,000 incentive goal, so keep those coming in. I have $200 from Rishi that says, I love Donkey Kong and had to donate during this jungle jam. Shout out to all the staff and runners for putting on an incredible event, less than three. 
I have $20 from NN Cause that says, Good luck, Void, and the rowdy bunch on commentary on this Kaizo game. I have a question. Why are the coins blue? Greetings from oh International God, Waters. Dude. Oh, oh my again. God, man. Come on, Greetings. it went so nicely so far. Okay, you can keep going. You're good. So just keep going. Don't, don't, don't pay attention to them. <laughs> Greetings from International Waters. Also, it's almost Allerle Geshere. Did I say that right? Oh, that, was, that was pretty good. That, that, was, oh, okay. that was actually really good. All right, cool. I'll take that. Uh, Gilly Monster donates $150 that just says, Archimand needs to die. Good stuff, Lloyd. All right. That was, really uh, nice. The, the spider section was a big scare, but we made it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, man. I thought I was going to get away with it without that question. Mm. Damn. Oh, well, we can do more here. Uh, we can do more donations, actually. Yeah. yeah, this is just waiting. Sure thing. I have $25 from GlitchCat7 that says, Void is such a talented DKC player in general, and Unveiled is such a groundbreaking game. Love to see GDQ putting this on. Thanks, GlitchCat. Dalinor, Dal Dalunar donates $5 and says, for the train, for Muffin. <laughs> All right. So this was uh, like a mini boss, pretty much, like a survive the timer stage, pretty much. Void just rolled into one of the crooks that is off screen. His hitbox extends when he throws the hook. So at around 20 seconds, you can roll into him while holding neutral, uh, because there's actually a bonus entry there on the left, so you don't enter it. You can kill that crook, and then you just got to wait on it. So this one, <clears throat> this one's really, really interesting. So this one's like pretty much the same as uh, Mind Over Meadow, the stage you've seen before where you had to escort a, a cannonball. This time you have to do it as well with the twist and uh, that being the cannon, the actual cannons in the map being obstacles instead. So you gotta dodge them at all costs. If you enter one of them, you're gonna be sent back to a bonus and that sends you all the way back to the start. With the exception of this one, that one that had banana lines over there was actually the midway. Void going uh, big gamer strats, so he skips that instead. Um, that being said, all the cannons in the second half actually um, lead to the second bonus instead, and uh, also to the midway. So as long as he doesn't drop the cannonball into the swamp somewhere, he's actually secure on this. Um, but it's still a pretty difficult stage regardless. Uh, really heavily dependent on this one item. Uh, there's also start select enabled on the stage. Usually you would also usually, usually you could quit stages in the vanilla game uh, by pressing start select, but only if you've beaten it before. Uh, some stages in Unveiled enable that um, ability before you even beat them. So yeah. We're gonna do a 2-1 jump here and deboost into that B to just uh, skip having the year. <laughs> Hopefully, hold on. Or maybe <laughs> <Okay>. one day. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Good stage. Good stuff. That's really good. Took me more time to get the double jump than to beat the level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, two and jumps are hard. One frame input into a two frame input. <clears throat> so, uh, same deal here. Uh, start select the neighborhood as uh, shown on the sign there. This is because this is called Team Up Trouble. Uh, you're actually heavily dependent on keeping the second Kong. If you lose the second Kong at all times, you're probably gonna have to start select out, with the exception of one section you're gonna see in just a bit, where um, there's gonna be a Cutlass, and there's gonna be a DK Barrel right afterwards, so that's why he deboosts there. But pretty much everything in this stage can only be solved with uh, teaming up, team throws and stuff. Um, there's a cool mechanic in this game where you can walk on Honey instead of sticking to it while teamed up. Boy just skips all of that because he's such a good gamer, obviously. Um, and but that's about the first Which is also a uh, vanilla mechanic. Like, you can do that in the vanilla game. Yeah. It's the not teaming up yeah, through it's... Honey, I mean. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people miss out on that, but yeah, that's a vanilla mechanic. Crouch under that B. There you go. And that's midway. I usually do a roll under that B, but for safety purposes, uh, I opted out of it. Oh, yeah. yeah, the roll is pretty tight. It can easily yeah. make you I take damage. I have a consistent damage. setup for it, but like the time save is so negligible in the grand scheme yeah. of things. I, 
You yeah. Know? Sometimes it works, but sometimes the bee is just like, hello there, and then... <laughs> <laughs> hello there. <laughs> and that's the end of that story. Oh yeah, you opted out of that big boy, good stuff, good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, um, the, big, the big boy murderer of paces. Yeah, trust me, you don't want to see Void when he misses that big boy. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to right. see me when my lasers go off. <laughs> Watch out! All right. Uh, yeah. So King Zing, um, as with Cudgel, how do you make this boss harder? Uh, bad spikes everywhere. Yeah, that was my, that. See, that was my thought process, dude. You summed that up nicely. <sighs> yeah. I was like, oh, dude, what do I do? And I'm like, oh yeah, maybe just like add brambles or something, I guess. <laughs> No sleeping. Uh, he was kind enough here. to uh, drop an invol barrel at any one of these phases that you can use whenever you like. Yeah, it's important Ooh, to note that nice uh, spikes he shoots get blocked by the rambles actually, so yeah. it can be of tactical This advantage. actually makes the fight so, uh, a, a little easier in that aspect. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah and I'm, 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 I'm conserving this uh, an invincibility barrel for uh, the last phase to clear the bearing without too much trouble. I find That's it weird that fight. with the invol though, like you, even though he's yellow during the last phase, you can't run into it to damage him. You would think you mm -hmm. would. Oh. So five one. This is uh, warp woods. Um, so this is actually a vanilla mechanic. Um, just you. You're just going to the, the signs that just indicate where the, the warp is going to happen, and you're just going to warp through the, the entire stage. Yeah, yeah, there is not a single midway on this on this stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no midways at all. You're in, you'll never find them. you got to search really hard for midways in this stage. <laughs> yeah, um, I think the reason is because uh, if I remember the way you explained it to me a while ago, MT, it's that those warps, those sign warps, they use the same uh, midway mechanic as the midway itself. So you have yeah. to use one or the other, basically. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So the cool thing about these warps... No, you chose the wrong path, baby Ray. It's faster, dude. Uh, <laughs> All right, there was a shortcut that I there. skipped by doing this path, so yeah. <laughs> Void never uses my uh, shortcuts. Cu <laughs> like them. I use the one in three three. Nice, dude. Congrats, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Damn it, dude. All right, yeah. So this stage is um, it's just like pretty straightforward. I would say platforming, but it's like flying. Like precision I guess. flying. Precision flying. Yeah, it's uh, cutting tight corners everywhere and stuff, and it's a. Uh, Weeks only stage, so I think you can probably read out another couple donations here. Mm -hmm. Sure thing. I have one hundred and two dollars from Antilles fifty eight that says Ooh. it is finally unveiled. Empty, you have done such an amazing job with this hack. I cannot express how much fun I had with it. One of my one of the year's best games. And Void rolling in to show off the tremendous speed run. Shout outs to Blue and Zeus. Love you all. Donation to Empty's Choice. Oh, well, what are the choices? <laughs> um, we have one going right now to kill Archimonde in Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. And that one, I think, is... It just went over 12,000 out of 50,000. And then we have the blindfolded Super Mario 64 run, which is a little bit later, and that one's at 38,000 of 250,000. So. Oh, yeah, definitely SM64. All right, we're going with 64. Alright, so for the last part of this level, uh, it's pretty much a redo of Ceaseless Chase from earlier, uh, except we're Squawks instead of Vanguard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, true, actually, yeah. This is gonna be Ceaseless Chase again. You have uh, animal barrels that uh, block you. If you collect them, it's just that like really slow animation, like three, four or five seconds, I don't know, uh, of just you essentially just regain the animal body. And that's why you like you lose the invo, um, and so you won't be able to make it in time anymore. So it's essentially the same, but with bird. Hey, look at that MT! I'm using your dev barrel. Hey, oh, nice. <laughs> nice, nice dev barrel. I'm using empty pats myself on shoulder. There you go. Yeah. So uh, this is uh, a big shortcut here, skipping a lot of uh, the stage, pretty much. This is pr pretty much like vanilla. Gusty, 
you still have the wind mechanic. It's still actually in all the same spots. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that. Um, but it's quite more difficult because there's a lot more obstacles here and it's pretty difficult to um, predict when the, the wind is going to start pretty much. There's a cool no trick here where you get to roll through all Ooh. these guys. My jump got eaten. Did you, uh, did you collect midway? Yeah, I did. I did. Ooh. Bless. Okay, so yeah, there's a cool new strat there where you can roll through all these guys in one cycle. Uh, you weren't able to do that before, but they needed to hotfix something and uh, it works out now. And that's uh, pretty cool. And uh, at the end there, we're gonna be seeing another like Yoshi type thing. Um, oh, that's that's crazy. I didn't think you would do that. Standing is really cool. Yeah, there nice. you go. Make this mount. And, My uh, boy yeah, Radley we... getting the Yoshi treatment, but that's okay because this level is all about Radley. That's my favorite level in the hack. Yeah. This yeah, this voice is like favorite. the Toxic yeah. Tower. Yeah, this is pretty much just Toxic Tower, honestly. And uh, this stage is crazy cool to watch, especially when Void does it because he's like Loki a god and um, like Snake TDJs through double jumps, that is, and short hops. And you're gonna see a lot of that, especially in the second half. But this is basically climbing parachute panic all the way up again, and that stage is huge, as we all know. So I think this would be a perfect time for a couple more donations. Can do. Uh, you guys will like this one. I have five dollars from Fat Lemon that says, "What a great run! DK Country is one of my favorite series as from a kid. Couldn't help but notice though, it looks a bit more blue than I remember. Can you ask Void about that? Thanks." <laughs> no. Not uh, like this. Sure, empty. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> it is very green. Okay, so on my journey for a good game design in Donkey Kong Country 3, I went to the strawberry milkshake factory and actually carried a big bag of creme, DK, and banana coins, and I must have dropped them in there as he was switching to blueberry flavor. And that's why they're all blue. <laughs> I didn't actually know that. Yeah, that's, Dude, I that's think the, I didn't drop a single jump in this level. That's, 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 that's really the whole cool. lore in it. Yeah, that was a really nice 5-4. <laughs> Holy God moly. damn it. <laughs> I, that was the whole lore on it. This one is actually really difficult, by the way. Um, yeah, this is a hard level. Yeah, reminiscent of uh, Webwoods, actually. Webwoods was really, really hard in the vanilla game, at least for most people. Um, this one adds ice physics because it wasn't difficult enough and in bold crocs so all the kremlins here are invulnerable except for like the gray ones or the green one, green ones but like uh the blue jumpy guys and the purple uh, walking crocs they're all completely invulnerable, so you can't damage them at all and uh yeah on top of that ice physics and some really tight rope climbing here too it was also one of the easiest stages in the run when World 5 was released, then Empty had enough and buffed it out by a lot. Damn. You were not supposed to say that. Uh, you damn. reveal my tech. Can we just say that it was like really difficult from the start? Yeah, it had some it really difficult platforming, now it's gone. Yeah, there you go. Hard platforming available yeah. in 1995. 1995, yes. <laughs> That's when I played this game for the first time, and uh, it was a great experience. Yeah, on my on my pals nest uh, in my living room, and my mom was like, "Dude, you're not gonna get any other oh, game yeah. unless you beat this one." And I was like, "Oh, no. oh no." Yeah. Right. A little bit of a scarier section than I would have liked. Oh my god, I slipped. The ledge. Yeah. weird uh, ledges on this it happens but that's fine um the stage is really difficult so yeah it's all about movement and, and platforming too and it's one really really nothing else to it um and i guess it's good to point out that these are custom enemies so as you can see go. if you if you touch them you will just take damage you can't hurt them at all yeah all right, so the antenna strat is to de-boost there then make it safely. This one scares me. Oh god, man. Nice, nice. Alright, there we go. 
really good. Uh, 5B is a, a really cool boss. So you always have to start the stage with solo Diddy. Um, and the birds are a lot faster. The aesthetics are really good too. The birds are a lot faster and you use them as a platform. And then for the second and third phase, they just like bullet right towards you. And they got really cool speed strats that you'll see. This boss is just like more platform. This boss is essentially an, an honest ruler, but you still have to execute. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's basically like a platforming stage, not a boss, and it's just so yeah. good. Yeah, this like, this intersection between the second and third section is my favorite, where you have like the platforms and stuff, and you just like, platform all over the map. Alright, this is a cool strat, where you instantly roll through all these incoming mini neckies or shadow neckies I guess, or whatever I call them, and um, yeah, you want to do that on this, on the third phase too, I think. Yeah, there you go. Really cool, just skips right through that. And also good to note uh, that the RNG is completely removed from this fight too. The barrels mm -hmm. have now fixed spawns every time. Um, next one is another pure platforming stage. It's a race against time pretty much. You gotta collect invo barrels not to get damaged by the water that is actually so cold now. It'll give you frostbite. Ooh, okay, well that was... Nice good save. save, good save. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was really, really good. Oh, bad save, bad save, okay. <laughs> uh, still okay, save, still okay, save. Nope. Oh, bad save, bad save. So, um, this is, uh, you gotta, like, roll into uh, all the invo barrels, and the timers are really, really tight. So, it's, it's really not that easy. Um, this is really uh, difficult just to get through the stage. And on top of that, you have these uh, pufferfish um, shooting out spikes in all directions every time. So... Yeah, pretty difficult stage. I think there's not too much tech over here. We can read a couple of donations. Sure thing. I have $15 from Lance Charlson that says, Greetings from the UK, AGDQ. DKC fan here. Much as I'm loving these funky alternate colors, purple and blue are my favorite combination. This looks much, much harder than the impossible lair itself. Good luck conquering these master levels, Void. And while you're at it, whoop Captain K. Roll's butt. Butt? <laughs> whoop his butt. My goodness, dude. Uh, you, you can do you can do a couple more. All right. I have $100 from Lady Marie that says, I've never watched a Warcraft run, but GDQ is always, more GDQ is always good. Let's meet that incentive. And that incentive currently or Kill Archmond is at 12,000, a little over 12,000 out of the 50,000. I died on the same frame as I grabbed the invincibility barrel. Yeah, I was yeah, about I to ask, that. how did you even die and grab the barrel oh, at the same man. time? That's what we were saying uh, right before going live at this level, like either you do it like first try or like there's a blow up. There's no in between <laughs> for this level. Yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah, coming from Midway, the flow is definitely much different too, so... Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, this one's cool. You crouch into the water to descend instantly, and you can't take damage while crouching into water, no matter if it's like the toxic one from Toxic Tower or not. We good, um, we good. We good, we good. That was just more time to read some donations, that's fine. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. that was so this next death. one um, is very reminiscent to DKC1. Um, where DKC2 didn't really have much barrel stages other than... Oh, I guess I had Barrel Blast. Okay, so this Ram is like Ram the Ram Barrel Ram. Blast of Unveiled, where Ram instead Blast. of wind, you're just shooting your barrels all the way up. It also introduces these uh, Disco Bees, um, where they're really cool, uh, kind of seizure-inducing bees, that yeah. for one, one cost of four. All right, chat can confirm how many bees do you see on each of these like bee circles. I want to see if people say two or four. Um, that would be an interesting question. So um, the stage is pretty interesting. It introduces these new bees. They're essentially just uh, bee circles of. Um, I can spoil it here. Four bees. So. It was just a matter of efficiency for me, pretty much, because, believe it or not, it's actually just one bee every time, going at 
Ooh. A mistake Got there. Death. That's fine. That's fine. Um. So yeah, okay. Most people said uh, said two in chat, by the way. So it's actually one B all the time, but it looks like it's uh, two or four. The thing is, it goes so fast. It's at four spots at the same time, and unlike an optical illusion, these four uh, different spots can all hurt you in this game. Um, it's essentially just going at hyperspeed, pretty much. The thing, the reason why some people can see two and some people can see four is FPS dependent. So if you're mm -hmm. watching at 60 FPS, you can see all four. If you're watching anything lower, you would probably only see two. Uh, that's pretty interesting because sometimes they're like, Dreamer, why did you just like jump into the B there? And why did you mm -hmm. die? And uh, then they go like, well, you know, I had to dodge two other Bs. And they're like, wait, what two other Bs? <laughs> it's like um, different scenarios every time from the view experience in chat. But uh, yeah, that was that was really really nice. Okay, I I know this one is Blue's favorite, Haslophobia. So go ahead. Yeah, I, I love this stage. stage. I love the platforming. So this is the Castle Crush um, uh, unveiled version, and it's just really small corridors and tight platforming. Um, you got rope jumps. You got some really cool skips later. Um, there's a little solo ditty part that he's gonna do leading up to the first half. It's just very execution heavy. It reminds me of 4-3, where it's just like really fun to IL, um, cause there's just so much going on, just so much cool rolls and other skips that you can do. Yeah, flavor-wise, I would say this is one of the best levels in the hack. Yeah, I'm really proud of this one. Uh, really, really, really cute stage with all the things. It was also like kind of coincidence. Cute stage, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cute stage, Aya. Aya, It was yeah. co kind of coincidence that I found out that the barrels can shoot you through solid walls. Because that's the only thing that makes this possible, pretty much, that you have cut off rooms that you still get shot in somehow. Uh, because apparently the game works like that, that if you have a barrel pointing towards uh, an inaccessible spot, it'll just squeeze you through that and flip right to the next thing that works. That's pretty much how the zip works uh, in, in Arctic in vanilla too, I think. It's just like, there's solid Something matter. Something worth and... noting in this level actually is me having both Kongs is like so much better for the second half than only having one Kong. Oh, as I say that, Definitely. I lose my, uh, my Diddy. All right, well. Yeah, well that's fine. Thankfully you're at the end of the stage already now, so that's pretty good. Yeah. I oh yeah, this level does introduce these, the uh, gimmick of, it's not really a gimmick, but not much people know when you bounce off of a Crusher, you actually get a little more height. And if you didn't have the two Kongs where he was at the letter N, um, you would have to just bounce off the Crusher to enter the barrel because you wouldn't be able to reach it normally, even with Diddy's um, jump height. Mm -hmm. It was really interesting. Oh, we're getting a guitar solo. All right. Yeah, you get yeah, the one banana for your reward. Mm hmm. So that's Gives more cool. time for everyone to get their cool cats out for Buzzer Brightmare. <laughs> yeah, time to get your shades out, everyone. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need them on this one. This is pretty bright, and a lot of people dislike it because of that. I love it, but yeah, it's a Buzzer Brightmare for a reason. There's all these bright bees, and uh, there's these new Cat Nine Tails that are super duper fast. Uh, white Sonics, pretty much. And, um, oh, missed the debus there. Oh, that was so clutch. That was close, yeah. Yeah, uh, I didn't see close. that guy coming. Nice, dog. So the reason that he is damage boosting instead of probably thinking, well, why is he teaming up? Why don't you just team up to all these platforms? Uh, a is kind of disabled in this level. So. Yeah, and by kind of, it is disabled. I cannot <laughs> it is totally disabled. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you cannot team up on this stage at all because, you know, that would be too easy and uh, I just didn't want to give people the uh, option to do that. You know? But uh, I can do this. You know, you, you, want, you wanted to uh, to keep this uh, this hack, uh, you wanted to leave it with some hard platforming. Yeah, I'd, I'd say mediocre, uh, like, yeah, decently difficult Yeah, because hard platforming is not available. Platforming. Yeah, yeah, hard platforming is definitely not available, not as of now, but um, maybe at a later point. I'll think yeah, maybe later like when you implement auto saving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty, pretty neat, to be honest. And infinite lives. 
person, you know? When I, when I made this, I was just like, oh, what happened? Why did I? And, and <laughs> of course, basically. you had to put that in there. <laughs> okay. That was basically what, what happened. Okay, so this is um, Clinger's Cauldron. Oh, wow, boy, you used my shortcut there. I'm so yeah, happy. Yeah, that barrel, another one. Can you believe it? Wow. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is uh, just pure platforming once again with uh, added enemies that are now fast and in bowl, so that's cool. Uh, we got jumpy crocs that are the red ones, they are in bowl. Um, the clingers are much faster and they are in bowl, and uh, you kind of have to like walk through them or climb these ropes, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun to, to go through. It's really, also really the cool. rare level that is mostly red. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you mean rare? Wait, wait, wait a second, dude. Yeah, not all the <laughs> levels in this game are blue. Oh man. Yeah, last time I checked in 1995, it definitely felt different. Um, I, I don't recall all the blue things, but yeah, that's cool. You get a move off, that's fine. Um, I think we can read some donations here before the next stage. Alrighty. I have $25 from Siglian that says, I have always loved the DKC series, and after watching this, I have a new game to play. Loving this run, and also, blue is the best color. I have $25 from Supreme Adjudicator that says, Loving this run, DKC2 is my all-time favorite game. This has been amazing to watch. Sparkling Parfait donates $50 and says, I love DKC, I love Covert Muffins runs, and I love Blind Speed runs. Sending $25 to each of these great incentives for a great cause during one of the best games. And as an update for that Kill Archimond, we are almost at 13,000. We are very close to hitting the 13,000, and then we have a long way to go from there, but we absolutely can do it. That was a good level. Stuff. That was a really good level. level. This one, oh my god, this one. Yeah, what so, do you have to say about this stage, Empty? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have some words for this stage, and they're not and they're nice. not nice. <laughs> no, unfortunately, they're not nice. No, this stage is really, really cool um, to some people that like it. And um, it's about, like, really, 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 really decently difficult uh, platforming because it's basically Toxic Tower, but uh, 10 times harder. So you only get one Kong ever. No no other way around it. You cannot join this stage with two Kongs. And uh, you, it's it's like Kong cycling. So once again, you enter with Dixie, you end up being Diddy and vice versa. Um, a lot of people uh, give up on this stage, which is understandable, as you can see, because this stage is uh, notorious, notoriously difficult for, uh, I mean, it just doesn't have enemies in it. It just has barrels instead. It just has um, barrels, yeah. But that's that's the whole point of it, because for anyone that's played DKC before, <laughs> kind of convenient, but um, the run button in this game, and roll button for that matter, is the same as uh, the one you use to pick up barrels or anything else with. So every time you see Void go through these barrels, he has to let go of Y, and that's pretty much, uh, that's really brutal for a DKC gamer. <laughs> so to attempt to roll through these barrels, for example, you have to press Y once and then let go of it mid-roll and then repress it afterwards every time. Uh, else you will pick them up, that loses a lot of time, and once you pick them up, you cannot crush them on anything in this stage, so you either have to throw them or put them down again and that loses a lot of time and uh, the toxic rises up really, really quickly. So, uh, I really yeah. like though that you customized it where when you see the, the specified barrels, like just Diddy or just Dixie, this is just to um, make sure that both Kongs always go at the same speed, kind of like always ahead of the toxic the same way. So it's like balance for both Kongs in like two different routes. Yeah, yeah no, two different sure. routes. That's something worth noting. So like, uh, when I first died with Diddy, I was Dixie entering the level and I immediately took a death warp because I'm more, much more comfortable playing this level with Diddy. Yeah, yeah so it, it's, it's a really good design choice that um, you're specifically putting these barrels to slow Diddy down or barrels to speed Dixie up to ensure that it works mm. for both Kongs, which is really smart. 
Yeah, pretty much. That was the rule of thumb here, right? Uh, there's like all these, like pretty much the Diddy barrels just slow him down so you want to avoid them. The Dixie barrels, however, speed you up. Unfortunate death there. It's a really yeah. uh, I barely tight missed timer. the barrel. Yeah, it's a tight timer, really unforgiving on the invo barrel, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, so once again, I'm just gonna wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. E boost, and get my Diddy back. That's fine. Diddy is a lot faster than Dixie, for those who don't know, by the way. A lot faster. So, usually, at all costs, you wouldn't uh, generally want to be Diddy instead of Dixie. But on this stage, it sorta and sorta not matters, because there's these sections I put in intentionally um, that make you, like this one, make you wait for the Toxic again. This is uh, intentionally put in so that the player... Ooh! That the player can sink out. My input was not registering. I, I, like, I couldn't get out of the water for a second. Yeah. Oh, this clutch. Uh, I, I think okay, you're okay. fine still, though. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. fine. I'm fine. I'm I yeah, think you're fine now. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, but hey, basically... You can, the, you can finish your thought now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I was just uh, too excited. <laughs> no, the... I slipped! No! Oh, my lord. Never mind, um, don't finish your thought then. <laughs> yeah, not yet, not yet. It's not time yeah, yet. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna see it again now though. Like, there's like two sections in the whole stage that have um, have you wait for the Toxic, and that's basically just to sync up the two Kongs again. So that both of their routes are equal speed pretty much. I think theoretically Diddy should be a tiny bit faster, just because after that you can uh, game out of your mind just be fast yeah pretty much just roll mm -hmm. to the end as fast as you can don't have to yeah. wait anymore uh, while he finishes it uh, we can read some donations can do i have a poem for you guys let's see if i can find it there it is it's $50 from Muddled Moogle that says, There once was a monkey named Diddy who lived far away from the city. When K. Rule took his friend, he went to the end and stomped on his goons without pity. Thank you for your 50. I have another 50 from Rainy J that says, Ooh, banana. Also good poem. <laughs> $25 from Dirk Mathis that says, some wild tricks going on in this run. Good job so far to the runner and good luck. That being said, hey Twitch chat, there are over a hundred thousand of us watching these awesome runs for charity. If all of us donated $5, we could get that Super Mario 64 blindfolded run and Arkham and killed. So let's do that. Absolutely could. $5 donation train. Let's get him coming in. No winky. No winky. Wait, I don't the understand this sign. plot. <laughs> Can anyone no winky, explain empty. the plot to me here? Hello? Empty, what have you done? I am devastated. I, I don't <laughs> know what's going on. <laughs> oh. I love the plot. It's so good. Yeah, for some reason, some people still think that the plot of this game is to rescue Donkey, but no, it's actually to rescue Winky. Yeah, yeah. R winky is more important because uh, if you're Donkey, you're dead, first of all, and uh, him hop. So, yeah. So this stage is very uh, similar to 4-3. Um, so if you remember in 4-3, uh, you had one life to escort all four animal buddies to lead to the target. Well, in this one, um, all the Kong letters are kind of uh, scattered throughout the entire maze. And when there is two letters, of the, two of the same letters, excuse me, in the stage, um, it spawns a different item and he put it into code to make a DTNT barrel. So you would have to collect all four Kong letters, similar to collecting all four animal buddies, um, in one shot and then get to the end. And each of the chests will make a TNT barrel to take to the end. Yeah, this is a really interesting stage, especially because I'm like, I'm like proud of the name flavor-wise because the stage is called Kong Conundrum. And everyone, everyone I've seen so far that plays this is like, what do you have to do on this stage? And then they play it for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and the gears start turning and they're like, wait a second, 
Does this man yeah, buy something? Yeah, it's just like, what, what, the, what the heck is a conundrum? <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, I saw so many people, they were like, um, dude, this is like, oh, I think you have to collect all Kong letters. And I was like in chat and I was like, yeah, so like kind of like you could say a Kong conundrum. They're like, oh, I hate you. <laughs> so I was like, all right, cool. Uh, that's, that's fine. Yeah, it's so, also yeah. one of my favorite under, levels. Uh, Dixie's hitbox actually extends a little upwards. So you can yeah. enter the barrel instead of going all the way around. Yeah. That's a good skip. Yeah, she is winning over uh, that Anakin uh, Bramble because she has the high ground, basically, so it's uh, worth uh, noting K that that works. Um, Suze, do you want to explain K-Rule? Oh, this uh, one is exactly the same as in vanilla. Yeah, yeah, there is nothing, there is pretty much nothing different in this fight except the color palette. Yep. Well, yeah, the like background red, is like red, so... Yeah, and has black coats. There's, a, there's yeah. absolutely nothing different from this fight. Yeah, too. it's just pretty much gonna fire some... Ca oh, what is that? Why is that cannonball so slow? I know, right? Did mm -hmm. you... Let's get rid of it. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, maybe the next place is still work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's it. still the same, pretty much, though. Yeah. It's, uh, it's still yeah. the same, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's some, there's some spiky cannonballs, that's cool. Yeah, yeah this is... Yeah, uh, a, this is definitely mm -hmm. a boss. This can, this can easily yeah. take on a first play. Uh, Alright, so now I'm gonna get a DK barrel, just in okay, case Okay, DK damage. barrel, better jump into it. Okay, well, oh, yeah. That's is there a cool, cannonball? I, guess. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't I know. I think that cannonball is gonna disappear. I don't think yeah, 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 it's gonna disappear like entire... right now. Yeah. No, it's still here. Okay, okay, yeah, all right. We'll just, I, okay, we're having some technical difficulties here. So I guess you just have to like play around that for a bit. Uh, it'll yeah. probably like, disappear at the end, so that's good. Yeah, I hope Void can figure something out. This seems pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll probably get easier when he gets to the third phase, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like get like, an sure, Surely it's going to despawn when we reach the third phase, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and if you take damage, so. you can always grab the second DK barrel. Mm -hmm. mm, yep. Might as well just jump into it right away, right? For safety. Yeah, hmm, yeah, okay. So, yeah, still the same fight. Right. That's cool. I wish they would have uh, like added it this fight, but I understand the technical limitations. So, it's fine. Yeah, it can be pretty rough. I think Wait, there's another spot. cannonball now. Ooh, what? MC, okay. what have you done? Oh, I don't, I don't know what happened. Like, <laughs> how can you even do this? How can you like maneuver yeah. yourself around those? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I think this is really difficult. So, yeah. to explain this fight um, in further detail, it all depends on how you throw the cannonball into his cannon because that'll create these cycles. And if you do that in a, in a bad timing, you can line up the cannonball in a way so that he'll float, that the cannonball will float over K. Rool as he's dashing and there's no way to escape him. And or it will be over the smokes. Yeah. Right, we're purple now. Yeah. Why are the Kongs purple, purple boy? for the fans. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> A lot of questions about colors in this. It's uh, yeah. interesting. All right, get ready on time. Nice, nice run. run. Nice run. Yo, golden dog. There you go. What's the Golden kind of time dog. again? Oh, nice. Yeah, so there you go. That was DKC2 unveiled. Uh, you're actually at a one hour, six minute run. That's still really good. That's not bad, yeah. I was, expe I was expecting like a 105, like some somewhere in the 105, 107 range. Yeah, it's a it's a high one six, so one six fifty. That's really good. Yeah. Nice. Great job, man. Cool, cool run. You showed that off greatly. That was actually really impressive. Like, believe it or not, this game is absolutely bananas. It's really difficult. Um, <laughs> it's so... bananas. But it's also really really fun. I love Unveiled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you are interested in like 
you play donkeys, you're interested in donkey games, I highly, highly recommend trying out this yeah. hack. It's I would really say good. it's like by far the best DKC ROM hack out there. Uh, yeah. This is the fruit of like over four years of work and refinement. So yeah, if you like donkey, uh, please give this a shot. Uh, the download, the link to download this hack is either on DKC Atlas, you can Google that, or you can check out uh, MTSYS, uh Twitch page, twitch.tv slash uh, Also, please follow me <laughs> on Twitch. Please follow the commentators, uh, Blueberry26, Seuss, and uh, praise Winky. Winky is praise uh, Winky. third place on the podium. And, In uh, off. There you go, we saved him. And, a, and, a, and apparently it's uh, Wario instead of Mario, and Yellow Yasuchan instead of mm, uh, Yoshi. In Ribbit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, thank you all for watching. Um, yeah. Another thing that I wanted to say real quick, I've been working together with Domes on a Brazilian Portuguese translation. So if anyone wants to check that out, it'll be uploaded in about a couple of days, I think. And uh, other than that, the game is available right now, though. So you can yeah. check it out if you want. I oh, actually also have one the last thing to, uh, so to show for you guys. The is already modified as well. It's going to be real quick. Um, but yeah, uh, do you guys have any shoutouts while I, uh, get to it? Yeah, for sure. Uh, thanks for Empty so much for making this game. I had so much fun playing it the first time and after that speedrunning it. And also TDQ for letting us feature it on the marathon, I really appreciate it. Yes, thank it. you so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks Should for I do us. a shoutouts to Suze now for playing it then? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, right, shout out to MT boy? for making this hack. Uh, shout out to the people who helped MT make this hack. Uh, Fred, Havoc, Rainbow. Uh, shout outs to all you guys for watching the run. Shout outs to Games on Quick for having us. Uh, and yeah, keep rolling deep. And uh, yep. yeah, the last thing I wanted to show off. Uh, so, the, th the interesting thing about this game is that um, the 102% run. Uh, requires you to, you know, just like in vanilla, play through the Lost World levels, but uh, there's something peculiar about getting to the Lost World in this game, and uh, why don't we just go ahead and get rid of this uh, no winky sign. Oh, thank nice God. Nice run. Yeah. Nice run, so, uh, finally. If you guys remember, uh, I collected some blue DK coins earlier this run. This was a purple DK coin. Mm -hmm. And that's all I'm gonna say about this. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, and uh, yep, I think it's time to roll out now. Yep. All right, rolling, rolling out. out. Thank rolling you. Rolling out. All right, thank you so much to Void and commentators for that DKC2 unveiled run. I was on the edge of my seat watching that. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I have a lot of donations coming in. Thankfully for that Archimon incentive, Alex B sends in $15 and says, is this the train that will crash into Archimon? All aboard. Thank you for the 15. I have $5 from Yelsrek that says, $5 donation train to kill Archimon. Let's go. Let me see where we're on, where we're at with that incentive. We just surpassed 14,000. We still have quite a ways to go. We can absolutely do it. Get those $5 donations in. Any amount helps. You can absolutely do it. Klausenheim sends in $250 and says, What an amazing week of runs already. Kudos to the runners and GDQ staff for orchestrating this event that brings so much joy and hope. $125 for the WC3 Kill Archimand and another $125 for Mario 64 Blindfolded. Let's hit these incentives. And we are going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Welcome back. I have a couple more donations to read for you. I have $5 from Brian that says, first time donator, booking my ticket for the $5 train. Hey, thanks for that $5. And then always DMB says, putting in $5 for a few viewing friends that can't comfortably give $5 himself. $5 hype train. That was $25. So thank you. Thank you for that. Much appreciated. All right, everyone, that is it for me at the hosting station. I will be handing this off to Musical Daredevil, but not before we send it over to Scent for Prizes. So thank you so much for making my first AGDQ a great one. Be good humans, stay safe, and have a good one. Bye. Thank you so much for that introduction. And as a reminder, everyone, welcome back to Awesome Games Done Quick 2021 online. My name is Scent, and I'm here to tell you about some of the amazing prizes that you can win by donating during the marathon. Now, I'm going to give you the long and short of it. A $50 minimum donation is going to get you entered into everything I'm about to talk about. So if you want to get your donations in now, you should go ahead and do so because I need to remind everyone that you don't have to donate for anything specific in order to be entered to the prizes. You just have to donate at least the minimum donation amount while the prizes are available. So you can put your donations towards anything you want. We have so many great incentives coming up, and there's one I'd like to talk about in particular. It is the incentive to kill Archimonde in Warcraft 3. Uh, Reign of Chaos. Now, Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos is it was a really formative game to me as a child. And, uh, you know, a fun runner you might have heard of called Covert Muffin is going to be doing a run of it coming up right here after this prize segment. Now, you've probably heard of Covert Muffin, or, or at the very least, you've heard Covert Muffin. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> anyway, um. he's, he's absolutely wonderful. Uh, at running all kinds of RTS games, and he's going to destroy Warcraft 3. But the thing I am most curious about, because I haven't seen it, is we have an incentive. If we can reach $50,000, and I believe currently we are just over 14000 to the way of that, to defeat Archimonde, who is supposed to be an undefeatable final boss of the Night Elves campaign. Let me set the stage for you real quick. So the final mission of the Night Elves campaign is supposed to be an all-out last stand defense against Archimonde and his uh, Burning Legion strike force as they uh, attack Mount Hyjal and the world tree Nagdrasil in order to try and drain the moon well of its power and rip open a, a tear between the dimensions so the demonic army can attack in mass. Uh, now, the point of the campaign is you have, I believe, like 30, 35 minutes just to survive. Th there is no win goal. The win goal is don't lose because Archimond is effectively invincible. He's got 10 to 20 times the health of any of your units. He has divine armor, which means he has 95% flat damage reduction to pretty much every source of damage in the game. He has, um, you know, 4,000 health, like I mentioned. He has a ton of attack damage. It's chaos damage. That means it ignores all of your armor, so nothing's going to tank him very well. He has several very powerful spells, including two ultimate level spells, uh, normally you know, heroes only get one. He's got at least two, as well as some custom ones. The fight should not be winnable. It is designed to be impossible. But Covert Muffin has a way, and you know what? That's what GDQ is all about when it comes down to it, right? Doing the impossible, raising a million dollars for charity in five days by playing video games, doing it from home during a global pandemic. That's what we do. That's what Muffins is going to do if we can get that $50,000 towards the Archimon donation incentive. So let's make it happen. Get those donations in. And let me tell you about some of the cool prizes that you can win if you do donate right now. Uh, now, most of the prizes I'm going to be talking about right now are available from the start of Warcraft 3 until the end of the daily recap a little later tonight. But there is one prize that I need to talk about right now because it is only available until the end of this prize segment. Uh, and that prize is this absolutely amazing uh, Luigi with... Uh, vacuum perler from um uh i'm so sorry uh i'm going to actually look it up real quick because the name has eluded my mind but look at this perler it is amazing it's actually you know two feet by two feet i'm not sure if that comes through in the picture it is massive and it comes to us from uh, pixels and popsicles which is a great name actually shout out to pixels and popsicles for sending that to us it's a 25 dollar minimum donation you have to get that donation in right now though in order to be eligible for it it's absolutely amazing how can you not want a two foot by two foot luigi with poltergust I want it. 
I can't have it. You can have it, but only if you donate at least $25 before the end of this prize segment. Let's talk about some of the prizes that you can win by donating between now and the end of the Daily Recap a little bit later tonight. Uh, so from our good friend and fellow host Iggy Zig, we have this absolutely adorable Boo Couch Pillow. You can put it on a couch, you can put it on a chair, you can put it on scent. It's a $10 minimum of the nation. It's super cute. Thank you so much, Iggy, for sending it out to us. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have so many cool things. Uh, from Cowwise, we have a copy of Final Fantasy V and Final Fantasy IX uh, for the PlayStation 1, still in their case. Uh, that's super cool. $10 minimum of donation for both of the games together. Thank you so much, Cowwise. Uh, now, from Squiggles Pixels, we have this uh, beautiful uh, Majora's Mask Perler. I apologize. This is from um, this is from uh, Dito87. Got the names mixed up there. That's on scent. But what's not on scent is how amazing this Majora's Mask Perler is. Just look at the detail. Look how clean it is. Look at how see-through it is if I hold it up to the light. This is an incredibly well-done Perler. Thank you so much, Dito, for sending it out to us. And again, it is only a $10 minimum donation until the end of the daily recap. Now, from Squiggles X Pixels, like I mentioned, we have a beautiful Majora's Mask Perler tribute, including a Majora's Mask Perler, as well as all of the masks, uh, you know, the main transformation masks, at least, that Link gets in the game. You can see a great picture of it over at gamesdonequick.com. That's a $15 minimum donation. Make sure to go check it out. Uh, from Rectech EXE, we have this super cute, Pop the PD Piranha print. It's a, a, P, a print of PD Piranha. Try saying that five times fast. It's pretty difficult. Uh, set up like one of those carnival games where you know you squirt water into the, the clown's mouth and then a balloon pops, except it's PD Piranha. It's a really cute reference to Super Mario Sunshine. I absolutely love it. $10 minimum donation from now until the end of the daily recap later. There are so many great prizes. Let's talk about more of them. So from Making It Nerdy, we have this absolutely beautiful uh, colored wood burning of a heart container. I believe this is a heart container from Skyward Sword, as you can see by the uh, kind of reddish gold accents along the heart, if those are showing up under the lighting. A little bit difficult to find the right angle where it's not too much glare. But regardless, this is an absolutely beautifully wood burned piece. It's a $20 minimum donation. Thank you so much to Making It Nerdy for sending it out to us. Remember, get those donations in. Get them in now. Get them in to kill Archimon. We want to see... Covert Muffin do the impossible. I want to see Covert Muffin do the impossible. I haven't seen it yet. I am looking forward to it. Let's make it happen. Uh, oh, boy, this is this is a great one. Uh, so from Pincushion Cat Plushies, we have this adorable Chocobo plushie. I, I just, I love this Chocobo. He looks he looks so chunky. It's, he's adorable. Uh, $20 minimum donation for the Chocobo plushie. Thank you so much to Pincushion Cat Plushies for sending it out. A little book of this thing. I love it. I'm just going to put it right there. Um, let's see, what else do we have? We have so many cool prizes. I probably can't show them off. Uh, from Sunfreckle, we have an absolutely amazing Shine Sprite cross stitch. It's a cross stitch in a hoop about yay big of a Shine Sprite. Head over to gamesdonequick.com. Check out a great picture of it. Uh, oh, yeah, this one, this one. Uh, from Isla Claris, we have this absolutely beautiful Tetris 2020 cross stitch. This is a cross stitch, and hopefully it's showing up on camera, of a bunch of Tetris blocks stacked up to the very top. Uh, the year is 2020, the score is zero. I, I think that's how a lot of us felt about that year. Uh, but you know what? This cross stitch is not zero. This cross stitch is 100 because it is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for sending it out to us. And I believe it is a $25 minimum donation until the end of the daily recap. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, now, as mentioned, um, earlier today, if you donate at least $50 uh, today before the end of Yakuza, you will be entered into win a one-of-a-kind GDQ banner. Um, you can see a picture of it over at gamesdonequick.com. You can see a picture of it on our Twitter account. Every event, LOK makes five or six different banner designs for us to use on our social media. And what we do is we take those designs, we print them out as six-foot-long banners, one of each. We give them out to winners uh, of the prize from the event, and then we don't reuse those designs. So those are one of a kind pieces of GDQ memorabilia right there. But you got to make a $50 donation before the end of Yakuza, I believe, in order to be eligible for that. Uh, you should check out today's design. It's super cool. It's a reference to the 35th anniversary of Mario. Um, I absolutely love it. Now, I cannot talk about prizes, of course, without talking about our grand prize. I got to talk about it. And you know what? It's not even a grand prize because it's two grand prizes, and they're both amazing. Uh, so first off, from Red Wolf Networks, uh, right next to me, we have this beautiful gaming PC. Um, it's 
got everything you want. You can head over to gamesdonequick.com. You can check out the specs, but it's got an RTX 3070 in it. Uh, it's got 32 gigs of RAM. It's got a 250 internal NAND SSD. It is a great machine. I'm, I'm, it could run at least two instances of Warcraft. I'm going to say at least two instances of Warcraft, maybe more, but at least two. Absolutely amazing PC. Thank you so much to Red Wolf Networks for sending that out to us. Um, and also, from our friends over at Heroic Replicas, we have the opportunity for you to customize a Heroic Replica of your choice. We have so many cool options available for you, including the Master Sword from Legend of Zelda, the Dark Link Sword from Legend of Zelda, the Hylian Shield from Legend of Zelda, the Chris Sword from the Legend of Zelda animated cartoon, Ragnell Ike Sword from Fire Emblem. Uh, we've also got the Buster Sword from Final Fantasy, the Buster Sword in all of its glory. Let's take a look at it right here, actually. It is like five feet long. It weighs 50 pounds. That is massive. Like, come on. It's made of welded steel with an aluminum handle, and it comes with five resin materia orbs that you can slot in the cross guard right there so you can fully experience the power of being cloud. Uh, thank you so much to our friends over at Heroic Replicas for this amazing opportunity. Now, both of those grand prizes are a $250 minimum donation, but that is cumulative throughout the marathon. So if you get in a $50 donation now, you'll be entered into everything I just talked about, and you'll be one-fifth of the way towards getting entered into both of those amazing grand prizes. Well, that is going to do it for all the time I have. Thank you all so much for uh, listening to these prizes. Thank you all so much for all of the donations that you have made so far. Remember that your donations are going directly to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Um, but if you ever have any questions about any information in the marathon, you can head over to gamesdonequick.com. You're going to be able to check out the prizes. You'll see all the prizes that you can win by donating, how much you need to donate for them, when you need to donate for them. You can check out all the amazing speed runs we have in the marathon. Speed runs like this Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos run with Covert Muffin that we're going to go to right after this segment. You don't want to miss any of it. And of course, incentives. All of the amazing incentives you can put those donations towards. Incentives like the Kill Archimon goal we are trying to reach right now. Come on, everyone. Let's make it happen, and let's get hype for Covert Muffin and Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. Anyway, I'm Musical Daredevil, and I am here to present to you a GDQ run three years in the making. It all started at HEDQ 2018 with the Human Campaign. Then we had the Undead Campaign at SGDQ 2018. At HEDQ 2019, we had the Orc Campaign. And now, at HEDQ 2021, supporting the Prevent Cancer Foundation, we have the fourth and final Warcraft 3 Campaign, Night Elf, run by Covert Muffin. And I've been here at the hosting desk for it all. And as Scent mentioned during that last prize segment, we do have the Archimond incentive for this run. Looking at our tracker, we have raised almost $20,000 towards that incentive. That is about two-fifths of the way there towards that $50,000 total. So remember, if you want to see us kill a supposedly unkillable boss you are not supposed to kill, make sure you put your donations towards that Archimond 